as you can see it's giant and red and Every morning, this little peanut comes into my room with a giant smile and she crawls into my bed and it's like my happiest moment. Love it. Good morning. It is such a beautiful day here, but uh, we have a couple challenges we need to work through today. Number one is our laundry. We still don't have a way to do our laundry, which means our clothes are going to be even more interesting today. And number two is poor Laura's eye. As you can see, it's giant and red and puffy. Oh, sweet girl. Okay, where does it hurt? Uh, mostly on this side, not as much on this side. We're gonna call in and see what the doctor says, okay? okay. This morning, Laura comes into our bedroom and her eye is giant and red. And my mind just starts racing. I mean, here we are in Austria. I have no idea what to do with her eye. I don't wanna overreact to it, but I don't wanna underreact to it. And then I remembered Global Rescue. This is why we have Global Rescue, so that I don't have to stress about it and my kids can get the care that they need. I was so relieved and excited to hear about Global Rescue that we reached out to them and they are sponsoring our video today and we are happy to share all this information with you guys. In case of any medical emergency, anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we know who we can reach out to and they will tell us where to go to get the appropriate medical care that we need. If that's not available in our area, they will help us evacuate to where we can get proper medical attention. And they're also there to support us in case of natural disasters, civil unrest, things like a pandemic, any of those kinds of emergencies, they're there to step in and help us. So we're reaching out to them this morning and we're gonna get Laura's eye situation all sorted out. I was grateful. We're getting really used to having to wait for places in the United States to wake up when we need to reach out for help about something. And Global Rescue is 24 hour service. No, I don't see a definite spot that would be a bug bite. She does not have any allergies that we know of. So they recommended putting a warm compress on her eye, which is smart. How's that feel? Better. Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. Feels good. We're sending in some pictures to the doctor. She decided to cozy up, rest for a minute. Well, I just got a call back from Global Rescue and they were able to set up the details for an online consultation. We could also do a walk-in here locally if we wanted. They reached out to some of the clinics here, but it sounds easier to just talk to someone online. Remember how I said we have like no clean laundry? Somehow, Elise looks adorable today. Elise! What? Where have you been hiding your clothes? I accidentally brought extra clothes. Accidentally, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so she's still got clothes. And also, I do the thing where like, if I wear it once, I can wear it again until it stinks. Got it, got it, great travel <laughs> tip. Laura's currently wearing pajama bottoms and an athletic shirt <laughs> and an eye that is Heart. Getting ready for a doctor visit. Yeah. <laughs> muscle shirt and pajamas. pajamas. Pajamas and a muscle shirt. Isaac, are you dressed? Yeah, no, I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> and then pants and my pajama shirt that Long I haven't worn once. And a pajama shirt. I have a polo. I only have polos left, so apparently I don't wear them as much. And then some exercise shorts. Good looking exercise shorts. Business on shorts. top, party on the bottom. <laughs> I'm in workout attire, my last clean workout attire with a sweatshirt on top. Janae actually has a lot of clothes left, but she opted for pajama shorts on bottom and just a sweatshirt on top. She said shirts were uncomfortable today, so. Something's going on with that okay. eye. Okay. Well, that appointment was really easy to navigate. Um, the doctor was really nice and asked really good questions. She was able to see what was going on with Laura's eye and she said it's some sort of eyelid infection. She said a specific name. I don't remember it and I probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. Um, she's giving us a prescription for either an ointment or an eye drop. She said that she's gonna have to look and see which one's available in Austria at our local pharmacy. And so we'll just go pick that up. We're supposed to do warm compresses four times a day and also slightly massage because like the ducts around the eye 
need to be kind of opened up. Anyway, she told us what other signs to look for that we would need to go in and seek further treatment. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. She said it will clear up slowly over the next few days. So not to be alarmed when it doesn't go away right away. So I just feel so grateful. Lori's gonna be feeling better soon. So we're supposed to put it on there for five or 10 minutes and then you're gonna massage it. Oh. Well, good thing we know what we have to do now. Yeah. And we know we have someone to go to if it gets worse. Yeah. Jeremy decided to do his hair today to go with Austria. the polo look. <laughs> I don't really know what he was thinking. So give us a peek into your mind. There's this paste that I brought as hair product that's different than what I normally use. And my hair needs to be dry to really work with the paste. But my hair was hat hair, so I had to just wet it and frame it so that as it dries... So we're in the middle. Yeah. This is and, still in process. Yeah, and then when I add the product and give it volume, <laughs> then it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of growing it out in the back. We'll see. Are you serious? Wait, let her... Why not, you know? So we're headed into this little town, Fairfin. Kind of excited about it. Hohenwerfen, the castle's up on the hill. You can see it right there. So beautiful, the light is like shining on it. This is what an apotheca looks like here. Here's an Austrian pharmacy. We got the medicine that we needed. It was about 11 euros. So that was actually really easy. That was a very pleasant experience. Yeah. I liked the apotheca in Austria. Here's another one of these little, little car things and Jeremy loves them. It's so cute. It's like the baby version of a car. It's like a car kitten. Like <laughs> I just want to snuggle it, you know? Like look at it, it's adorable. It is, it's absolutely adorable. And here's what we're driving. The beasts of all beasts. Car elephant. <laughs> car woolly mammoth. That's what we have. Is it in my or is it on my eyelid? It goes right on the edge. And it's safe to get in your eye. How's that feel? Interesting. Thanks again to Global Rescue for sponsoring this video and we invite you to go to their website. We have a link below where you can check out their different offerings for all different kinds of travel and see how they can help you. <laughs> she likes being rubbed on the belly just like Sunny. High five. High five. High five. Daddy, high five. Come on, girl. He only speaks German. I don't speak any German. So. Christian is always talking to our kids. It's so adorable. And Isaac will just nod his head. Mm hmm. Yep. Except I am starting to pick up what he's mentioning. Yeah, baby. Baby captain. Get the kittens. We're getting rained on now. We have a little name for him. Shadow. And we call him Shadow. Here, Ellie. Lucas. Oh, did you hear that little meow? Oh. oh. <laughs> They've grown so much. Look at you. Look at Remember me. Remember what's spicy. Was. Look at you. The baby captain lost his head to war. That's right, Christian. Exactly. And Lucas is over here just working the tractor. These guys are always out helping their dad and their grandpa on the farm. Well, while we're here, our kids continue to love playing with Lucas and Christian, their new Austrian friends. <laughs> Sometimes the crazy part of my brain feels a little guilty when we're just spending our time at home here instead of maybe being out and having epic adventures. But honestly, these down days are some of our favorite times. The kids just get to play with the other kids and we just get to relax here at the farm. I really love it. We love it so much, it's almost sad to 
ever leave. So we are going to have s'mores. Yep, American style s'mores, because we found this at the Swedish candy shop. Marshmallows is the only place we can find it. <laughs> we have some fun, yummy chocolates and graham cracker type things. I'm so excited. Yeah, and we invited the friends that are staying here to and, join us. And it was so cool because they never heard of s'mores before. So I like how we're showing them like what our traditions are. And Very they're showing cool. us theirs. Well, I'm on a mission to try to find the kittens. We gotta see them before we go. Tonight's our last night. All right, they've got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Hello. Did you find a perfect little spot for your little kittens? You did. Little ones. Hey. Do you want to come with us down to the party? Come on. I'm so glad Jeremy found the kitties. It's the little Look at her nose. It's white. I know. Hi. Oh. Ooh, she wants to play. Oh, well, it probably smells amazing to her right now. Today was a glasses day. Oh, uh, yes, it was. Just a chill. Chill, chill days day. are glasses. It's all licking you. You want to put this in now? Oh. All right. We just said our hellos to them today. And now we'll say good night. We'll see them tomorrow before we leave. All right, we got them back where they were. There you go. Yeah. She likes being cuddled too, that's the thing. Janae, we're gonna start with the marshmallows real soon. I'm trying. What chocolate did you go with? Caramel. I want caramel. Caramel and a strawberry. Hold on. These are the best marshmallows I've ever had. Caramel. Mm -hmm. Laura's eye is looking a lot messy. better. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we're using these as graham crackers, and we have all sorts of different chocolates. I think I did it. That's like perfect. Golden. Caramelized, Golden. mellow. So which chocolate are you going to go with? I mean, caramel sounds really good. You're doing the caramel? Everybody's been doing it. Ooh, she did it! This is the first time I've ever gotten golden. Very well done. Janae, yours, I know I like it because it's yours got a little traumatized by the fire there. The strawberry one is so good. It's like a strawberries and cream delight. Caramel sounds like it would be too rich. It was. Too sweet. It was. It was too much. That is really good. Oh my gosh, that's perfection! What? You're already a master! <laughs> Done? All I wanted it to be is hot. Wow, so you, you you roasted the other one by catching it on fire. This time, that's all you want? Perfect. I was so excited to find gluten-free yeah. things. Here, wait. You gotta eat you gotta before eat you make another one. You pick another one <laughs> Mixing caramel and strawberry. strawberry. It's gonna be so sweet. This was my personal favorite. It's like fudge. Yeah, it's really a good I'm having, it's pretty good. What's your favorite? The strawberry. Oh, it's yeah. way better. No. <laughs> Have you tried it yet? No. There we go. Attempt hey, number on. six. You're gonna get sick. I already am sick. <laughs> I just want to get better at it. <laughs> These guys have been playing a lot more football. Janae needed help fixing this bike. The chain came off. So I got my hands like all black. Nice, Janae's path. Whoa, you okay? Yep. Right. I'm fine. Caleb in action. Do I just like go like this? They kind of scrub it against each other. Yeah, there we go. We just had the most delightful evening with our neighbors. It was so lovely. And now we're inside and the kids are putting on their pajamas. And the problem is everything's not dry that we hand washed. So I literally just overheard the sentence, hey, can you blow dry my underwear? <laughs> Apparently that's where we're at. We're blow drying now. We're blow drying. Lisa, you just blow dried your clothes, correct? It, it's still kind of wet, but... Good night. Do yourself. Family dynamics can just be so angry making. Far a longer way to run. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well they said they can do our laundry, but we won't get it back for two weeks. Really? 